Welcome everyone to another episode of Why the Hell Not here on Brian Oswald, the show where I make whatever's on the top of my mind because why the hell not? Well, one of the food challenges that's all the rage right now is the Packy One Chip Challenge. That is to eat one tortilla chip that is coated with Carolina Reaper powder and Carolina Reaper junk on it. Now these chips are in high demand. In fact, demand is so high that actually you can't get them on their website right now for not for a ridiculous sum of money. So what somebody like me to do that can't get their hands on them? I'm going to make my own. How am I gonna do that? I'll show you. Okay, so here is my chip making station. This is based on a recipe that I found online. I will put a link to the original recipe in the description below. But all it involves is me taking some of these corn tortillas, chopping them into chip sized pieces giving them a nice brushing of oil, putting them on this pan here, and then cooking them in my currently preheating oven, which is preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now let's first prepare the chips for the pan. Got uh, some vegetable oil here in my brush. And again, as you can see, I am going to bake these chips because I could fry them, but that leaves too much mess and I'm too lazy to clean it up. So now that I've brushed oil onto either both sides of these uh, tortillas here, I'm now going to cut them into chip shapes. So now the next step is putting them on this pan. So as it turns out, aligning all these chips so that they don't overlap each other is a much more difficult task than I imagined. But nonetheless, here we are, 18 chips in potentia on one cooking pan. So now let's bake them. Okie dokie, now it's time to put the chips into the oven. Whoa, hot! From here I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and then flip all the chips. All right, the first 10 minutes are up, so let's pull them out for a little bit. Whoa. They're shrink, they've shrunk a little bit, or sizzled a little bit, so when we give them a light dusting of salt, flip them, and pop them back in there. Now for another three to five minutes. Well, it's been five minutes, so now I'll take the chips out of the oven. Oh my goodness, those smell pretty good. Those look pretty good if I do say so myself. Now it's time to season them. Okay, next question is how do we give these chips some classic tortilla chip flavor? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of these chips Put them off to the side just so I can taste them as is. Next, I'm going to put some chips on each of these big plates here just for some normal and some not so normal tortilla chip flavoring. I tell you, they already feel pretty rigid, so I think I cooked them properly. And lastly, one chip for the Rhino's World One Chip Challenge. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of this stuff. This is some leftover cheddar powder from my failed attempt at making some Cheetos chicken fries. I'm gonna try to make some nacho cheese chips with this stuff. And I'm gonna put them on these too since they're both gonna be cheese flavored. Now these chips are going to be just regular cheesy flavored chips. These ones however I'm gonna add a little bit of spice to it with some jalapeno pepper powder. Yeah, okay, those are my traditional flavored chips. Now I'm going to move them off to the side. Or this one to the side. This will be the chip of doom. The Brian's World Carolina Reaper chip of doom. I'm going to sprinkle a fair amount of this stuff. 
Carolina Reaper Powder. That's what's going to go on the solitary chip here for my own one chip challenge. So that is what a Brino's World Carolina Reaper chip looks like. Okay, the chips have been fully prepared, cooked, and seasoned. So now it's time for the eating. First thing I'm going to try the plain old chips just seasoned with a little bit of salt. Alright, there it is. It looks like a proper chip to me. A little bit thicker than normal, and it's even got those little deformities that you see on regular um, tortilla chips. Well, anyway, here we go. Homemade corn tortilla chip. Cheers. Mm. I don't know if it's because these corn tortillas are thicker than normal, or if I put too much oil in them, but they're a little bit... They, they have a good crunch at the beginning, but they get a little bit chewy afterwards. It's got a, it's got a nice flavor, though. This is definitely worth doing. Maybe I should put more oil on them next time. I'm not sure, but either way, it's not bad. Now I will try some of my traditional flavored uh, tortilla chips first. Nacho cheese. Don't have much of a cheese smell to it, but let's check the taste. Here we go. Cheese flavored homemade tortilla chip. Cheers. I'm beginning to wonder if I screwed up on making this uh, cheese powder because I didn't get any cheese flavor in that one at all. None. Let's try one more. I think I might need to cook these tortilla chips a little bit more next time. Either that or maybe put them on top of some sort of broiler rack. Something that will allow the oil to drop through, but maybe, I don't know if it's that or if it's just it's soaking up all of the um, air or the moisture in the air around it. Make it a little bit chewy. I think next time I should maybe just um, either increase the cooking temperature or cook it for a little bit longer. But I think I'm on some. Either way, last bit to try is the jalapeno cheddar ones. This is a light dusting of jalapeno powder on it and also some of my cheese powder. Let's try this. I definitely got the jalapeno on that one. It gives a good flavor. Good taste. If I can just get the uh, tortilla chip part down pat, I might have something there. Maybe could have seasoned it a little bit with a little bit more salt at the end, but um, but overall that jalapeno chip wasn't too bad. But I'm feeling a little bit of a burn right there. Imagine how bad the Reaper chip's gonna be. Speaking of which, I'm gonna save that chip for another challenge for another day. So you'll see me try my the Brian's World One Chip Challenge in a future challenge episode. Probably it's gonna be coming this Tuesday. And there you'll get to see me suffer like you've never seen me suffer before. Or maybe have. But anyway, that will do it for another episode of Why the Hell Not here on Brian House World. I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you've got ideas for weird things I can make on this show, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And please do, because if and when I reach 100 subs, don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I can always pray, can't I? If and when I do get 100, I will attempt the Carolina Reaper Chicken Wing Challenge, which will probably be just as bad, probably worse, than having that one chip doused in Reaper powder. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a good one.